Hi, Tokyo Tops. Don't worry, bunnies today. This is not bunny. This is a bunny. This is a meerkat. You know, I think I saw a meerkat the other day, actually, literally <gasps> down the street. I don't know if it was a meerkat or like a possum, but someone was actually, mm -hmm. they had it on a leash. That's kind of They were drinking a, coffee. That can be a meerkat. Yeah, yeah. Right? But, but I was with a friend and the friend was like, I don't know if it's a meerkat because meerkats are like this. Yeah. And he was, or it was like Oh, hunched. you know why it's ferret? No, it wasn't a ferret. I've had a ferret. You had a ferret I before? I had a ferret, yeah. When I was when was that? Oh my god. It was like eight or nine. So <laughs> So what are we doing today? So today because you guys have been liking our videos about Hatemba, aka the bathhouse culture in Japan. So why don't we share share even more stories, you mm -hmm. know, about the bathhouse? Do people actually like those stories? Well, um, we have bathhouse number one. Mm -hmm. We have blowjob bar, which is also a cruising space. True. We also have a sex party video mm -hmm. that's also like a cruising bathhouse culture mm -hmm. in Japan. So these videos all are very well received. <laughs> <laughs> you know, have you been to bathhouse this year? Yes. And is there any changes, you know, uh, um, post-COVID compared to before? No, so this is part of my story. I guess it comes in later. But what's common at bathhouses now is that people wear masks. It's this weird thing where it's like, well, obviously we're going to be doing things that do not require masks so like why is everyone doing it but they're doing it because they, like when you're in the facility in the public spaces they're trying to like do some sort of like corona taisaku sort of thing right yeah so i kind of get it but i kind of don't but also it gets really difficult because you have no idea what they look like mm. right you have no idea so like there's this weird thing that i do now is like i will like walk around and if i see someone that i like i'll like pull down my mask uh -huh. so i can like show them like who i am but it must be really creepy right because you're walking and then you're just like what? and then you put it back on and keep walking like it must be really creepy but i don't see another way around that i don't want to like meet someone have it go well and then me pull down my mask or something and him being like oh sorry you're not my type so i want to show them in advance but do they return the favor no but i think i'm on the I'm at a disadvantage anyways, as the foreigner. I don't know if this has ever happened to you. It's mm. so annoying. But in darker areas of, of bathhouses, if you're lying down, because you know we have to do the crocodile game, right? Yeah. Where you lie down and you wait. So people will actually come into the room, crawl over you, and like go like this to try and figure out what you look like. Yeah, yeah. And then sometimes they're like, oh, this person's not my type. And then they back away and leave. Yeah. And so you're sitting here like, you oh. feel like shit. Yeah, you feel yeah. like shit because it's not even like someone walking by and ignoring you. Someone is coming up enough that you know there's some level of interest. Mm. But then when they figure it out, they're like, oh no, and then they leave. That's really bad. I don't, And I don't want that to happen to me in a room or something like that. So I just want to show people early on yeah. what I look like. Now, having said that, um, it has gotten me into problems as well, okay. which is what I'll talk about later. I'm ready to hear. So I was at a bathhouse and I was in, there's like a um, kyo Lanko yo moon. <laughs> Lanko <laughs> moon. <laughs> yeah, like the, the like orgy room at the back. We're all wearing masks. This guy comes up to me, starts like, you know, filling me out or whatever. I'm like, cool, cool. Like, let's see where this goes. Then this guy from this other, the hallway here, he comes around the corner. Then this guy joins in. Mm. And I was like, cool. great. Like, this yeah. is great, yeah. right? So feeling going on this and that, woo, woo, woo. And it's getting to that point where it's like the make it or break it part, mm, right? Yeah. So that's where my mask policy, I don't know, comes in where I'm like, oh, I better show them my face so mm. that they know what they're getting into and I don't have an awkward, you know, rejection moment. Yeah. So I pull down my mask and the guy to my left goes, Tokyo BTM. <laughs> Wait, so he is also a foreigner? He's not a Japanese, Japanese guy. He's a Japanese, Japanese guy. guy. Yeah. Then the guy below, who was a foreigner, uh -huh. looks up and goes, Hototo. <sighs> and he is a foreigner. He, is, he, he knew as well. So I'm sitting here like, Oh my God. God. I just wanted to like crawl in a little hole and like disappear. And like, there was this simultaneous thing where it was like, I was embarrassed. Uh -huh. Cause I felt very vulnerable and exposed. Because they know who you are. They know who I am, yeah. right? And then it is kind of funny. So it's all these, all these feelings simultaneously of like being able to laugh at myself, like life is not that serious, mm. but then also 
part of my brain is like, this is embarrassing. Like, remove yourself from the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was all these like things like going through my mind. And then the guy to the left was like really interested in the channel. <laughs> so he's like trying to like talk about it and stuff. And literally having this is- Having sex, why are you having sex? Th this is when other people are having sex all around us. Uh -huh. It's not that I lost my mood, but mm. I was kind of, I was still feeling a little embarrassed. Yeah, of course. So I yeah. like sat down. So mm. I just sat down and of course everyone else is like still like doing their own shit. Yeah. And then the guy like sat down to me and was like, genuinely interested in like talking to me about the channel and like where's Ming and like all this stuff. So, the Japanese guy. Yes. Maybe. Yeah. Oh my god, that's interesting. Did, um, you, did he talk to you in English or Japanese? English. Okay, so he's like the international Japanese guy. And then you guys had a conversation. So then we had a conversation and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna like move to another part of huh? the bathhouse. Wait, so you guys didn't continue? I had to think. I'd never thought about this before. Yeah. I felt like just very exposed in a way where I was like, well, anything that I, like, I didn't feel hidden anymore, I guess. That actually reminds me of uh, the conversation we had with Katsuki song at our channel because he was like, oh, because I ne have never gone yeah. to the bathhouse just because I'm a bar owner. Like, I feel I have my name out yes. in Nichome scene. And you know, lots of bathhouses very, like, around the area and people go to Nichome would go to bathhouse normally. So he's, like probably feel the same. Like no, he haven't never tried it mm -hmm. before because he already knew. What if someone, yeah. you know, know who I am? Then it's gonna be a very embarrassing situation. So then, <laughs> yeah. So then I like move on or whatever. And I was thinking about it. I'm like, I think I was just embarrassed. Blah blah blah. I'm being silly. Like both of the guys were like really attractive. This and that. So I was just like, I'm being silly. And I just let it go. Then one of the guys, the other guy, found me again. And then we started fooling around more. Mm. Um, so I like, you know, I like got out of my head about mm, it mm, mm. Um, and it was fun and it, it worked or whatever. But when we were finished, he said to me, he goes, hmm, you're a bit different than I imagined. You're nicer online. And I was like, oh. Are you a bitch? Do you, well, you a and so I thought about it. I thought about it. And I was like, when I was there, I believe both of them were also more on the bottom spectrum. Okay. That could be a total assumption, but from the sexual interaction I had, it felt that way. So I was a little bit more of a like an aggressive top. Uh, like you... I was like channeling aggressive top. So energy. you were putting on a, a persona. Not so much a persona, but it was just like, well, if I'm gonna be the you know top in this situation, then I'm gonna be a little bit more like little bit. No, no, not, <laughs> not really little. You're little. When he says like you're nicer, which means you're softer, you're kinder, what do you mean like you're being a bitch? You know, like that's two different things, you know? Like, I, I'm, does it you'll have to ask you're... him. Comment below, <laughs> he might be watching. <laughs> so, what did he mean like you were more, um, for I example, don't... like a passive, where like, like, how do you describe nice? Yeah. Like, you know? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't follow up on it, being like, "Am I a bitch?" You know, like, were you like, "Where can I miss it?" Like, I got my dick in the trash. Like my channel, right? Yeah, you want this, right? You want this. Comment below. In Chinese, we we have a word saying like "shuai shuai da pai," which means like when you're a famous person that you put out like a very arrogant, like how do you say like trance. I don't think I was like that. I think it was just more, more dominant. I wasn't being passive and coy, like, mm, no, <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, you know. So like, I think I was taking the more dominant position, okay. and I think when he watches me, he sees me more probably. I'm guessing as um, more the, the docile, the, yeah, the M, um, the sort of little like more coy and docile. What well, was there any follow up? Like, do you guys? have a further chat about the channel at the resting room or what what's going on i will say so there were two guys involved right and the guy who first found out or said like tokyo btm or whatever mm -hmm. i would like to apologize to him because of the fact that like i felt i felt like i ran away from him because you were embarrassed you yeah didn't know how to deal with i didn't know how to deal with the situation and i thought about it later and i thought i was just being really silly and I think that maybe I, I um, gave the wrong impression, right? Yeah. You know? But I also had to acknowledge that I personally just felt embarrassed and didn't know what to do. So there's like yeah, yeah, some yeah. self-compassion there that like I've never dealt with this before. But then also reflecting on his experience, I just hope that I didn't, 
you know, give mm. him, make him feel bad or anything. So if you're watching, I'm sorry. So next time people will be like, Tokyo VTM, what do you got to say? Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Start me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but you're, you're nicer online. <laughs>「You know I was seeing a guy for、mm. like half a year actually more than that well it didn't work out but I went because he wanted to try something different I wanted to spice it up he had never been to any cruising space before、oh. so it's like okay so instead of like just you know doing a round in my room so why don't we just、uh, go out and have fun so I took him to but I got rejected at the uketsuke yeah Not because I'm Tokyo BTM, okay? Not because of that. <laughs> like, Tokyo BTM, Andrew is just here, go home. <laughs> <laughs> Not because of that. But、Your、do you remember? Temperature? No, no. Okay, guess. Do I look different to you right now than two months ago? That can be a factor to have Timba. No. It's like, so you had a、obvious. different haircut. Yes. You had a different haircut? Yes. I was, do you remember my, my hair was quite long? Like, look at our Osaka video. Okay. That was okay, two months yeah, ago, yeah, right? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, that hair, I didn't get in. And、wow. they said, like, yeah, you can't get in with that hair. So. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so that was a, kind of like my attempt to go to Hatemba with someone. But I got rejected, and、uh, yeah, that's what happened. And I haven't been to Hatemba. But they have like thousand yen haircuts. You could have just gone and got a haircut. Oh, but do I want to do that? <laughs> just for that. <laughs> probably with my hair right now, I can get in. Probably. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, not probably. I, I definitely can get in with、yeah. my current hairstyle. But that hairstyle, you're not able to get into kind of like the sporty, um, gatsimuchi or whatever,、um, those like typical gay hatemba. So, kind of like a lesson to everyone. I think we talked about this in our reasons not to come to Japan video or something like that. We had like a big list of like reasons we've been rejected. So, go watch that video if you're wanting to hear about other things. Like, there's so many reasons, right?、Mm. And like, I've been rejected for hair, but for lack of hair, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. it can be a little bit over the top. Yeah, I guess like it's kind of like a very hard set rule that like, Oh, your hair can be this kind of like length. Like, no matter if, even if like there are people who have long hair, but they're like really buff, right?、Yeah. Like, maybe they, I'm not sure if they can get in or not, but the overall like thing, maybe just like, so you omise to avanakata, do you can't say. Maybe that, that moment I should be like, do you know who I am? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know? <laughs> Andrew's inside right now. <laughs> do you know My who I am? My other half is inside right now. Do you, <laughs> do you know who I am? <laughs> They want to fuck are you, me. Are you sure? <laughs> are you sure you know what? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, so,、um, but I do see that lots of Hatempa are closing. Like, still, I feel like there's so limited op-、uh, options right now. And the、mm. difference be- be-、uh, from before and now is that there's no new stores opening, but、oh, there are more places closing.、Mm. So, okay, question What、mm. would you do if you were at a、um, bathhouse and you ran into a viewer and they wanted to have sex with you? I don't know. I, I haven't ran into that kind of situation. That's, that was why for me, I never, I had to kind of like think it through a little bit almost. Yeah. Like I never really thought about it. So when it happened, I was not prepared. I don't know. But I feel like the people I usually have sex with, they usually don't know who I am. So that's, that's the interesting conversation that comes into it, right? Is、um, in a way, there are, of course, people that don't know about us and don't know the channel. Yeah. But those are also the type of people who don't usually like me. Oh, yeah, I, I guess, yeah. But me, for me. For you, it's different. It's different、yeah. because the crowd where even any of my ex boyfriend, you wouldn't have any interaction with them if you don't know me. You know, those kind of like people I attract are very different from the scene. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. You're less likely to run into people who. Know you, you're less likely. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, but yeah, I mean, now you can think about what you would do. It might I, happen. Now I have to think yeah, about it. Yeah, now you have to、yeah. think about it. And now you can't, you can't run away embarrassed or whatever because now you're prepared, you're prepared <laughs> to know. And like, if people come and they just start, you just gotta go with it. <laughs> right. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> all right.、Okay. So,、uh, what did you all think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're one of those two guys 
feel free to reach out and leave a comment and uh, tell us your side of the story. Because I guess it's only, it's very one-sided. What, what, what if people say like, he was rude, he, he was, was rude, I hated him, he was terrible at sex, he was aggressive. I guess it has to be a fair, fair sort of storytelling. You know, so. we cannot sue you for defamation, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, Just yeah, like yeah. Johnny Depp to Amber Heard. <laughs> Bye! Bye.